a little scary yeah I think so too I was talking to a young boy and he was telling me all that he knew about dinosaurs he talked, he talked, he talked, he talked he, he knew quite a bit I on the other hand have no idea what this is even called if you know what this is called you can uh, put it underneath in the chat and let me know so something a little more friendlier yeah she she looks a little friendlier compared to the, the dinosaur uh, today I want to talk about proximity control now proximity control is how close you stand to someone, how far you stand from them, depending on the relationship you have with them, of course, you will need to know what boundary you can you can set. And one of the things um, when it comes to boundary is how close you invade people and their personal space. I mean, if you know someone is a really good friend, you haven't seen them for quite some time, you go over, you give them a hug, you give them a high five, maybe it's a bounce or maybe you shake their hands or something of that sort. There are some persons, however, uh, we really don't know each other like that. If you're talking to me, you might even have to stand, and this is how they will reason, because they're uncomfortable. Their personal space might be invaded. So if you have to talk to them, you may see them take a little step back. So you want to be able to take a cue. Step back a little bit and allow them an opportunity so that they can feel comfortable in the space to communicate. Now, why is this important? Well, think about you're a classroom teacher or you're a parent or a guardian and you're talking to a child and you're saying to the child, okay, I need to do one, two, three or X, Y, Z. But you're up on the child and the child is feeling uncomfortable. Now you're a bigger person or you're probably a little more intimidating and the child is really feeling uncomfortable. But if you have to tell them something, maybe an arm's length away might be just fine or probably an arm's length and a, and, a, and a half away. Of course, you don't want to stand too far away from the child where you have to be screaming at the child, but at the same time, you don't want to stand too close that you intimidate that child. Because think about it. If you are in a situation where a child is close up to you and you didn't invite them in that space, and it's not like it's your cousin or your niece or your nephew, it's probably a child in the class and they just came up on you like that, I mean, you might be a little uncomfortable. You may step back. If you're sitting, you may lean back a little bit while you communicate with that child because you may know a lot of young children, they have a tendency, man, sir, they want to come up, they want to hug, they want to grab you, you know? But of course, you want to help them to know that there's boundaries that they should set, not just with you, but with others. I mean, a young child, has to learn that it's not everybody you can just run up and just hug and touch and so forth because that could be very inappropriate as well as we want to protect our children there are some persons out there who may have ulterior motives so teach by modeling appropriate behaviors you stand especially and we're talking about maybe a classroom teacher it's not that you you don't know the child but at the same time you want to set respectful boundaries uh, maybe it's it's your your relative and you can give a hug if that is appropriate in your culture But at the same time you don't want the child to feel uncomfortable. So you want to be able to set boundaries when it comes to proximity and How much you're willing to allow yourself to control the situation at the expense of the child's emotional um, experience so you really want the child to be comfortable you want them to uh, be able to open up and, and talk with you and not feeling that okay this is a little weird i need to step back maybe i need to go call somebody because i find this grown-up is a little too close to me set boundaries um, in terms of space so that that child can feel comfortable and that child could learn for themselves that it is important that they too set boundaries when it comes to how close they stand to someone or where they stand in, in position to that person when they are communicating something. So I hope that this was helpful and uh, it's all about learning and helping our children out. So take care later.